As we roll into the summer of 2023, one of my favorite games that I think I've ever played, Insurgency Sandstorm, has a bit of an unclear future. As some of this game's largest, most well-known creators have started abandoning ship or have started prepping for emergency evacuation, I think it's time we take a look and see if this game is really in the trouble that they seem to think it is. Who is Embracer Group, the current owner of New World Interactive? Are we going to get this next-gen upgrade that we've been promised? And is there a new game or a spiritual successor in the pipeline? I'm the older than average gamer. Sandstorm released for console on September 29th, 2021. And during that time period, my initial concern was if this game and also a game that was released just a, a week after on October 5th, that being Hell Let Loose, if these games weren't handled correctly, uh, down the road and through the immediate future of their initial releases that this could be a real problem for tactical first-person shooters going forward on console. Initially, both uh, Insurgency Sandstorm and Hell Let Loose enjoyed a really good first six months um, in the console community and were building a lot of good, positive reputation within those communities. But as time has gone on, Insurgency Sandstorm particularly has had some issues keeping its community feeling as if they're getting all the things that they think they should be and to some extent what they were told they were going to. I think for Sandstorm, the biggest issue so far really has been keeping things current, uh, feeling as if there's enough content, which, you know, for Sandstorm, the amount of content that comes out for it is also sort of a thing with the PC community as well, um, that being how little there is of it um, comparatively maybe to some other titles. But what really needs to happen now, I think, you know, aside from little bugs here and there that did kind of play the game for a little while, but were easy to look past because it was still new and shiny for people on console, what everyone really wants now is a PS5 and Xbox Series upgrade. That next gen upgrade has been promised multiple times with a release date of sometime in 2023, which we're now about halfway through 2023. So, you know, we're not at the end yet. Still nothing to be totally worried about, but there has been a history with insurgency in the past of uh, planning to do things that didn't end up coming to fruition, such as a campaign mode. Now, one of the things being linked to reasoning behind why development for this game seems to be too slow if you will, is being tied to its parent company or its developer company being purchased by a larger game publishing group called Embracer Group. Both NWI and Saber Interactive were purchased by Embracer Group in 2020, and for lack of better words, Saber Interactive it has essentially absorbed NWI. This can be made evident by simply looking at Embracer Group's annual report on their website, and you'll notice that NWI is nowhere to be found here, but Sabre is, and Sabre also boasts one of their highest employee counts. Now, even though this acquisition is nearly two years old already, only more recently has the general public really understood that this has happened and asked questions of the NWI uh, team in general, and on their Discord page, they reassured some of those questions by telling the commenters that they would indeed be committed to bringing new content and updates to this game for the rest of the year, which, if that sounds not all that reassuring, uh, because the rest of the year isn't really all that long, uh, that would make sense to me too. Now, having actually had the opportunity to work a little bit directly with some of the community lead team like Sergeant Slaughter, M-Dog, Coventry, um, I know how much these guys care about this game. I really do. And I really believe 100% that when they say something like, we are dedicated to bringing new content and updates to this game for the rest of the year, that's because that's all they know for sure that they can say. While they are the community leads, they're not the developers of the game, nor do they run the company. Uh, so they can't, they can only tell us as much as they know. And sometimes companies in any field of business will leave out information to their employees so as not to cause panic or problems. And now I'm not saying that's what's going on here either, but 
it is not atypical to leave out a lot of information so that things like rumors don't start. And while that's exactly what they do end up doing uh, occasionally, uh, especially in the video game world, it's not over till it's over is basically what I'm saying. And obviously, I, as much as anyone, want this game to keep going. I'd love to see a new game, and I'd love to see that next-gen upgrade. Guys, thank you for stopping by the channel today. Let me know your thoughts on what's going on with Insurgency Sandstorm. Uh, we really don't want this game to go away. So I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on the matter. Cheers. We'll see you next time.